Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the cards that have gone up in price, and wow. There was a time you could get these for 8 bucks or $6. I think I got like a ton of them. I did sell them to Strike Zone Online for like way too early, but Cavern is crazy. It's over 20 bucks right now. I think it's like 25 bucks right now. And... Yeah, I mean, it is played in every single format. It is played in Legacy, to Modern, to EDH, to Tiny Leaders, to any format that can play it, you will play it. Some deck will want to play it, and it is very good. As the stronger counter spells get in the Modern format, the better this card gets. And the better Tribal decks get, the better this card gets. So it's one of those cards that does not have any limit in how well it gets. Like Snapcaster Mage, the reason that it is so good is sorceries and instants will continue to be printed. Every single sorcery or instant gives Snapcaster Mage more targets. Same with Cavern. Uh, except you're looking at goblins and merfolks and all types of random decks that would use this. As well as tiny leaders. Tiny leaders is definitely a, a format that would appreciate this card. As is ED8s and casual itself. No one likes to get their stuff countered. And everyone likes mana of any color. Blood gas. Blood gas is over $10. Which is again insane to me because I purchased him for like $250 or... Very cheaply. Blood Gas is a very interesting card in the current meta uh, for Modern. He doesn't have a home, but everyone believes he's going to find a home. So unlike something like Brimaz, where no one believes he's going to find a home, Blood Gas should find a home. I mean, it is a very good card. And when the Dreads deck, when Golgari Troll was unbanned, I felt like this card would actually be very, very good. That being said, as long as there are sacrifice outlets or as long as you can take advantage of his re ability to just jump from the graveyard all the time, in my opinion, he's better than Gravecrawler. He just is. Uh, yeah, the only thing I like about Gravecrawler better is he's Gravecrawler is a zombie and this one is a vampire or... Yeah, he's a vampire spirit. But the card itself... In the correct deck, in the Liliana deck, or the Rack deck, has a lot of potential. Now, let's talk about another princess of mine who also hit $20 recently, and Tamiyo. Tamiyo, I purchased for like $8. Probably the same price as Cavern, actually, when it rotated out. Tamiyo is an awesome card. I don't know what decks are playing it in Modern, but its price is going up. And I don't feel like it's EDH. Maybe somebody correct me if that's not true. But EDH, when prices go up, they don't go up as spiky. They go up kind of slowly, and then maybe somebody buys them out. Tamiyo, a very fun card. I like it a lot. Actually, Jace uh, AOT, Architect, is seeing play. So like if Jace can see play, then for one more, Tamiyo is way, way better. In my opinion, she is better than Jace. Also, the fact is, Tamiyo is a blue Planeswalker, that has value, but when you look at blue Planeswalkers, not, I mean, outside of JC Myscope, there was this obviously banned in Modern, there's none. There's none. Uh, maybe Narset becomes the new Planeswalker for blue, but Tamiyo, if blue were to pick up a Planeswalker, I, right now, it would either be Jace, the small Jace, or it would be Tamiyo. And Planeswalkers give Blue another avenue of attack that it doesn't have, which is very important for it. Regardless, Tamiyo is over 20 bucks, Cavern is over 20 bucks, and Blood Gas is over 10 bucks. Which is, all of this sounds kind of crazy to me. And, but their I could see all of their prices increasing. Like every single one of these prices continuing to increase. Barring, obviously, a reprint or something of that nature. Overall, like Tamiyo, I would trade. I definitely would not have any issues trading into Tamiyos or Caverns. Blood Gas, I have more of an issue with. Uh, the same issue is kind of like I just don't see it being played in Modern ever. Uh, for something like Vendillion Click or Kiki Jiki, everything that people are telling me 
is that even small stores can get a large allotment of modern masters like a large allotment i think it's 50 boxes not 50 cases 50 cases seems a little rid ridiculous that's 300 boxes so even if a small store can get 50 boxes <laughs> I realize I just said that completely wrong. If a small store can get 50 boxes, then what can a big store get? Like 100, 150, so whatever they're saying in the official Wizard of Coast website, that's not actually what distributors are telling stores right now as it gets closer to the date. So I would be very wary of Tamagoyfs or Vendillion clicks because I feel like everyone feels that Modern Masters 2015 will be reprinted quite a bit. And I really do hope that's true.